Uh, ang target completion nitong ating uh, North South Commuter Railway no ay uh, by 2029 no. 2020. Although uh, we're expecting that we will have partial operations by 2027. Kaya uh, ongoing ang construction no. Ang uh, ating contractor doon ay uh, isang uh, Spanish group no. And uh, we're working closely with them no. So far uh, uh The North-South Commuter Railway System, a priority project under the Build, Build, Build program of the Duterte administration, is the largest railway project to date. The NSCR project also holds the distinction of being the single largest infrastructure project of the Asian Development Bank and the longest commuter railway project of the Japan International Cooperation Agency. The NSCR Phase 1, despite being started in 1994 as the manila Clark North Rail Project, only started construction in February 2019. Under the relentless leadership of Secretary Arthur P. Tugade, the Department of Transportation has been paving the way for the golden era of the Philippines Railway Network with record-breaking investments made in record scale and time. In order to fast-track in providing safe and convenient transportation for the Filipinos, the NSCR system is divided into different phases. Phase 1 consists of a 38-kilometer railway system with a total of 10 stations. Phase 2 will have a 53.1-kilometer railway system that extends Phase 1 from Malolos, Bulacan to Clark International Airport, while Phase 3, with its 56-kilometer railway system, extends Phase 1 from Tondo, Manila to Calamba, Laguna. In August 2019, Contract Package 03, which consisted of a 104-car rolling stock, was awarded to the joint venture of Japan Transport Engineering Company and Sumitomo Corporation. The eight-car train set can accommodate up to 2,282 passengers and will be the longest and fastest electric multiple unit in the Philippines to date, spanning 160 meters and maximum speed of 120 kilometers per hour. The rolling stock will feature state-of-the-art systems like LCD screens for passenger guidance and information and CCTV for security. By the time of operation, the rolling stock will reduce travel time from Malolos to Tutuban from 1 hour 30 minutes to just 30 minutes. Manufacturing started in January 2021 and the first eight cars rolled out to the test track in Yokohama, Japan last September 2021. In October 2021, the first train set passed the factory acceptance tests and is confirmed compliant with various international standards like JIS and ISO. Preparations were done to ensure safe and timely delivery of the train set. The train set arrived at Manila Port in November 2021. After clearing customs clearance, one by one, it was transported from Manila Port to its new home in Malanday Depot early December 2021 and was assembled to its eight-car configuration. Despite the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic on the global railway construction industry, and two decades of setbacks, the DOTR and PNR under the Duterte administration will now present 